Hello Booktube! Welcome back to the History Shelf. It's been a minute. I am your host Peg and we're going to do something a little different today here at the History Shelf. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you a little unboxing of sorts. A uh, small little package. Um, folks from a, a place called History by Mail reached out to me and uh, wanted to see if I would uh, just open up on air one of their packages that uh, they're useful study aids and educational, you know, I think teaching aids, I think these would be great for a teacher. So I'm looking at you, Bill Rutenberg. Um, but it sounded really interesting. Uh, basically, they send you something in the mail that are copies of historical documents. Uh, could be drawings, could be anything. So let me see. I'm going to reach you what they sent me. And if you're interested, uh, they gave me a code that viewers of this channel, uh, if they're so inclined, could uh, sign up for, I think every month they send you these these really interesting, you get a, a you know, history in the mail, basically, is what it's called, history by mail. So, um, I'll give you a little flavor of what you might be able to expect. So, let's see here. Uh, Yes, where are we going to look at? Enclosed are samples from, uh, it's called historybymail.com. I will include their link below and the code. Um, we have, I don't know if I want to give it away right now. Let's just open them up first. But I'll tell you what you can, what, what the, 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 the organizations, you know, how they operate is uh, each month, History by Mail subscribers receive an envelope containing a replica of a historic document. So replicas four letters over four months uh, explore a unifying theme. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm a little catching a little bit of a cold, I think. Additionally, each letter comes with a document explaining the context of the historic letter, including its author, recipient, and relevance to the events of the time. When necessary, transcripts are also provided for handwritten letters. Okay, so you get this handy dandy little uh, thing in the mail here. And we pull out what do we have in here. We've got these, an assortment of historical replica, letter replicas. So let's take the first one. Ooh, now this one's a, this one's a goodie. Um, Eisenhower's Order of the Day and Sketch of D-Day Platoon Leader, 1944. There you go, right? And it comes in this kind of like, uh, you know, parchment type uh, colored paper. All right. Oh, I see. So this is part two of four that um, they, they say you have like four months of a theme. So they were just sending me the sample. Um, this is the second of four documents in the World War II series. Um, right now, uh, is there another one in here? Oh, okay, hang on a second, guys. Here we go. Okay, so there's... This is like an overview with like an information sheet. And then there's another one listed as Eisenhower's. No. God, it's the same thing. Okay, I think I got two doubles. I think they might have sent, well, this is not going up to a rising star. Um, all right, we're gonna save that one for later. I'm not sure why I don't have the sketch. Uh, the next one is World War I rationing card and nursery rhyme, 1917 to 1918. It's got this cute little seal on the back, history by mail. And you open it up, and this is more like it. And this is something that would have you would have seen um, in 1917 or 18, uh, printed in the newspapers or um, oh, isn't it? Listen to that, and it gives you an information sheet about the nursery rhyme. It gives you the entire like history, so you get your info fact sheet front and back. Isn't this fascinating? And then on the back of the, uh, the nursery rhyme, I'll read it to you if you're interested. Uh, a little American's promise. I'll eat cornmeal, oatmeal, and rice in nice sweet hominy. Cornflakes and mush with lots of milk are good enough for me. At table, I'll not leave a scrap of food upon my plate, and I'll not eat between meals, but for supper time, I'll wait. I make the promise that I'll do my honest, earnest part in helping my America with all my loyal heart. This is a promise, and I hope all children make the same. I'll be a good American, and here to sign my name. 
That is very cute. What do you know? And then on the back um, says hang this in your kitchen and these were like, uh, this is called a home card. Let's see if we can focus on that. All right, so a little, little something interesting. Um, again, I think these would be really wonderful uh, uh, teaching aids for history teachers. And uh, now I'm not a history teacher, but I like to think that I talk, you know, enough history here that um, some of you might see this out there and be like, you know what, let's look into this. Um, the next uh, history by mail that we're going to unwrap is police report and bus diagram from Rosa Parks' arrest, 1955. Get that, okay. So, wow. Again, you'll get the... Uh, the information sheet that gives you the whole history. It goes into Rosa Parks, Jim Crow laws, the bus incident, um, Montgomery bus boycott, Browder versus Gale, and then the legacy. So they have a lot of history on the sheet. And But this is like, a, so this is a replica of her actual fingerprints and the bus diagram. You guys? Isn't that wild? Wow. And it shows you right where she was sitting. Right there. It really kind of makes history come alive a bit, doesn't it? Um, and again, you know, so every month you get you get different different set. I can only imagine how many things they have to send out. Okay. Then we have a letter from Annie Oakley to President McKinley, 1898. All right. Then we open this up. Oh, wow, this is neat. <laughs> so they provide a, a typewritten transcript because sometimes you can't read the, the, you know, the olden days handwriting. But look at this. This is a replica of what she wrote to Mr. McKinley, or President McKinley. Let's see if I can read it without the transcript. Uh, the Honorable McKinley, President. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Sir, I for one feel confident that your good judgment will carry America safely through without war. Okay, um, but in case of such an event, I am ready <laughs> to place a... Okay, then the writing gets kind of... It's hard to really make out some of that. but. She says in this letter to President McKinley, but in case of such an event, I am ready to place a company of 50 lady sharpshooters at your disposal. Every one of them will be an American, and as they will furnish their own arms and ammunition, will be little, if any, expense to the government. Very truly, Annie Oakley, trying to uh, get some ladies in combat there. Look at you. All right, that's kind of cool. Uh, and again, another information sheet, and it gives you all the, the history behind it. And I think the war she was talking about was Spanish-American War of 1898. Okay, so the last sample I have to show you, and then I'll let you uh, hopefully go down into the description box and check out History by Mail. Go to their website, just browse and see what it's all about, and see if that's something you're interested in. Um, the last one I have to share is Check for the Purchase of Alaska, 1868. Let me see that. All right. Let me open it. I haven't done many of these. It's kind of fun. Um, oh, how neat. Ooh, and I can use this. I'll use this as a bookmark for my, for my the big, thick books that I read, history books that I read. But this is the check. Check that out. No pun intended. Check it out. Check out the check. Oh, that's neat. Um, and that was for, tell me the amount here, 7.2 million. I don't, wow. can barely read the writing in here. There's, I think, I can't make that out if anyone else can. Treasury warrant. I think I can make out the date. August, August something, 1868. 
So this covers the early settlement of Alaska, just a brief overview, treaty with Russia. Um, yeah. This is, this is so cool. So, history by mail. You know, what a neat endeavor. What a neat little company. Um, you know, I don't get many opportunities to endorse, um, you know, history products or things like that. I often show you the things that I, I bought, like history t-shirts or caps or, you know, whatnot. Um, mugs. I love that kind of stuff. And um, But this is something really different. And it's something that is, like it lives it it comes to your mailbox every month so it's not something you have to go out and do it's coming to you and these are things that you wouldn't even think to try to look up you know the library of congress or whatever but it's being sent to your home so i think it's neat i highly uh you know support history by mail their their attempt to kind of make history come alive for everyone out there so you know, whether you're a school teacher or you think these might be good for your, you know, something uh, neat for uh, your, your children um, to, you know, have something in the mail that can be their own. And it's like, ooh, make it a history thing. You know, make it exciting. Uh, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? So it's history by mail. There is a code below. You can get 10% off, um, I think, for your, like, your first subscription um, to the service. But I want to thank the folks at History by Mail for allowing me to unbox and just kind of share with you a sampling of what they, what they offer. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this company, if it's something you're interested in. And again, please do take advantage of that 10% off code. Um, that's good for, I think, in, in perpetuity. So until next time, BookTube, I really appreciate you guys being here and just hanging out through this video. I know it's a little different for me, but it was fun. So uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.